I'm the Drone Girl. I am here with the Zero Explorer 4K drone by a company called Rapu. This is a mid-level consumer photography drone. So this drone, as you probably gathered from the title, has a 4K camera that's gonna also shoot HD video. Now, as you might be able to see and possibly even hear, it is a super windy day outside. So we're gonna see how this thing holds up in the wind and if we're lucky, we might even get to photograph with this drone a few rounds of tennis. Let's see how it flies. The $599 Zero Explorer 4K is a quadcopter drone with a camera that enables live video stream through your smartphone or tablet. True to its name, the drone's camera shoots 4K video at 30 frames per second and 12 megapixel images. But that's not the whole story. Often when it comes to drones, it's about the gimbal, not so much the camera. It turns out much of my video was actually quite shaky and experienced what's known as rolling shutter. Additionally, it seemed like the camera had a hard time focusing on the subject. For reference, I did shoot the entire video in automatic mode, though the drone does have manual settings which could have avoided situations like these. But for consistency, I shoot all reviews in automatic mode since that's typically what first-time pilots would also fly in. The gimbal did a lot better when pointing down, which you can see in this clip. It also did a lot better at lower altitudes, such as this selfie shot of my friends. But at high altitudes, like the shot of the trees and the city, it just didn't work. It was super easy to take off, land, and fly. Felt totally safe the whole time, which is a big metric that I care about. I won't deny a few things were a little frustrating in the setup of this drone. Uh, to begin with, uh, you'll see that this is a modular camera, um, which I really like because you can take it on and off. Um, but I had a little trouble figuring out how to connect it as well as the battery. It took me a couple tries to figure out how to lock. I always compare to things like DJI, and the DJI camera just fits right in there. This one, it took a little bit of fumbling, um, and then I did have a little bit of trouble connecting the drone to the Wi-Fi. Um, it ended up being a different password than what the instruction manual told me, and I had to look up. Of course, there's tons of great drone forums out there where I was able to get the information, but those little things along the way can be really, really frustrating to the user experience. I wish I could love this drone. Flying it was one of the most enjoyable experiences I've had and for $599 it seemed like a huge win. However, it was disappointing to come back inside and realize that the video footage just wasn't up to par.